Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat, and I just watched South Park Season 23, Episode 6, entitled Season Finale. Now, here are my thoughts about the show. Let me start with the, some of the stuff I liked about this episode. I loved how meta it was. Like, the beginning, how the whole thing between Randy and the mayor about, well, I'm the, I'm the town, I'm what makes South Park great, and then mayor being like, no, people are just tired of you. Very paralleling the fan base, how Tigerty Farms has been a pretty much a fiery split point for the fan base. There's few, some people who love it, some people who hate it in the interplay. But the meta-ness kind of disappears until near the very, very end, where you have the family at the dinner table again, looking disappointed because Randy, spoiler, has been freed of all charges, and have the, quote, season finale not be the end of the season of the show, since there are four more episodes left, by the way. But also to the fact that it was really season finale of the quote-unquote show within a show that Randy was filming calling te called Tegrity Breakfast, which, being Randy, he ends by advertising his weed entitled Season Finale. And as if it's like, oh, it's just the season finale is the new strand of weed. At the very end, you have a shot of an actual hand putting up the weed alongside other jars, which happen to, happen to all be entitled the names of the other episodes so far this season, like Shots, Halloween Special, so on and so forth. Band in China, I think, was right in the middle because that was the center point of quality in the season so far. And I like that. Although after that, I really didn't like many things in this episode. For example, it's very apparent they were trying to use this episode to comment on the whole push to impeach President Trump. At the same time, it really felt, and this was the problem with seasons 20 and 21, when they try to get in the nitty gritty of like political intrigue, it ends up, they have this tendency to over convolute things, especially in recent history. Like, go back to season 20, the episode, the season where it was 2016 about the whole election cycle, and just the whole backplot with trolls and stuff, and how garbled and confused the show became. I felt like this episode was a one-episode microcosm of that, because it felt like they're trying to comment on, like, Trump's use of, like, deflecting criticism by accusing the accuser of doing it. And at the same time, they were trying to do this, like, commentary about how, like, only white people support Trump by having the whites be very obvious stand-ins for, like, quote-unquote, white people. <clears throat> and if you remember, the whites were actually a set of characters that appeared a couple seasons ago in the season finale of two years ago, the actual season finale two years ago, not an episode called Season Finale, where it was about, more direct about President Garrison being like, oh, we support President Garrison, why is everyone turning their backs on the president? And it was a grating joke because that was the entire joke with them. Their entire joke was like complaining about like how bad white people have it, so on and so forth. And after you get like the commentary from that, from the first few uses of the joke, every time you kind of use it onwards after that, it just gets more and more grating and annoying. It got to the point, I think towards the end of the episode when they appeared and they were the only people rallying against the quote unquote like the impeachment hearings on <clears throat> Mr. Marsh. It, I actually groaned when they appeared because it's like, oh, it's going to be the same joke like four more times. And that does happen. Although I kind of can admire what the show tried to do with the whole adopting a Mexican kid plotline. Because it's like, well, like Cartman's like, oh, I know there's a bunch of kids that could have filled the hole in your life. And you take, and it's like the detention center. And it was treated like a pet shelter. And I kind of like the commentary on that. All that was kind of obvious and on the nose. And they only, it was one of the smarter ideas in the episode, but they only used it like two times. They had it when they adopted the original kid, Alejandro, who, spoiler alert again, becomes the Mexican Joker. And another younger, I think they said Panamanian kid. And like how the only things they asked were like, where's my mom and dad? Where am I? Like stuff like that until the end when like Alejandro snapped under being his parents and just like screw it i'm blowing everything up even though like and like how the dad put sunscreen on his face it looked like the intentionally bad makeup of the joker although i really wish if they're really going full blown with a real mexican joker thing they did they would have done like him try to do like the dance to rock and roll part two like in the movie or maybe have or maybe in the next episode he appears 
they'll have a parody of like the late night show scene, which honestly was one of the highlights of cinema from this year. Dear God, that's an amazing movie. <clears throat> but anyhow, it's a concept they might be able to expand in the last few episodes of the season. So there is some promise there, albeit. I don't know where they're trying to directly go with this political commentary. Like, like I kind of like the idea of Rudy Giuliani. I didn't like the joke of Rudy Giuliani until the very end of the episode. Because, like, I guess what they're trying to go for was he seems creepy but isn't actually creepy. Because he had the thing where it's like, looked like he was sucking President Garrison's dick, but really he was just cleaning the pistachio cells. And then he had the thing later on where it's like he looked like he was going to try to rape Randy. Really, who's just giving him a blunt, which he shoved up his own ass, which Randy, which, uh, one of the few good jokes was Randy saying at the end, I got some shitty ass weed. I thought that was pretty funny but at the same time. And I thought that's what they're going for. And the only time like the Rudy Giuliani is borderline creepy joke actually paid off for me was at the end when he was like trying to give a weird back massage Joe Biden style to Randy Marsh and told him, like, dude, get that off me. I love that. At the same time. I think this was the most hit-or-miss episode of the season. There were moments to enjoy from it, but at the same time, there were some moments that reminded me too much of, like, what South Park would try to do in, like, the first episode of a season by, like, shoving a bunch of stuff into, like, small windows of space where it can't breathe. So, like, the commentary in this is, like, very rushed, and it didn't feel fleshed out right to me. But anyway, that's my opinion. What's your opinion on this episode? Leave your comments down below. I appreciate reading your comments. If you like this content, if you want more South Park content like this, please like this video. Please subscribe and hit that notification button. My opinion, this has been the week, so far, probably the weakest episode of the season. I'm Super Orange Cat, and that is all.